Ayaka's finished trying to rap and she's come up with a question. What are introns and exons? A few years ago, gentlemen, and Yannick, DNA coded for stuff. That was the end of the story. DNA was a blueprint for life. It made genes. It coded for everything in your body. But they started to notice that there were bits of DNA that didn't code for anything. So when they actually took a piece of DNA and looked at it, really badly drawn DNA, but that's my trademark, our really badly drawn DNA, when they looked at this, they found that this section coded for the gene. This bit didn't do anything. This section coded for gene. This bit didn't do anything. And this coded for gene. And it was like, ah, oh, that's strange. A lot of these areas here just were repeats. ACG, 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 for example. Didn't make any sense. They were just there. So they were called non-coding bits of DNA. They were removed and they were called introns. The bits that were removed were called introns. The bits that were expressed were called exons, the expressed bits, which is confusing because ex sort of means to leave as well. So the bits that code were called exons. It was also discovered that the mRNA for a gene was much shorter than the actual gene leading some people to believe that the introns are being removed. They're being cut out to make the mRNA much shorter. Therefore, it'll be easier to get it to the ribosomes. Now, what they believe happens is that we get proteins. We take our badly drawn red DNA and it's wrapped around the proteins. So there's our badly drawn DNA from above, wrapped around a couple of proteins. Now what they believe happens is that some enzyme joins here, joins here, and cuts across here and here, removing the non-coding section. Cuts through here and here, removing the non-coding section, so that our mRNA now called mature mRNA because we've removed the non-coding bits is much shorter, much easier to take out through the pores in the nuclear membrane, much easier to be carried to the ribosomes. This whole idea is called the interrupted gene because the gene is interrupted with bits of non-coding DNA. And when I was at high school, it was just junk DNA, it did nothing. Now they're finding some of it as repeats, and some of those repeats appear to have functions. At a certain location on a certain gene, they can use the number of repeats you have to tell when you will go senile. There's a tight mathematical correlation. The longer the intron is at a certain point, the younger you are when you go senile. So there's still a lot to learn about DNA, because at least when I last checked a couple of years ago, they had no idea at all how that worked. Now I guess the last thing you could ask is, when does this happen? This is DNA, and we're making it into messenger RNA. So it's during the process of transcription. This is happening in the nucleus before the mRNA leaves out through the nuclear pores to go to the ribosomes.